discussing investment for the benefit of this country to come and support you in destroying property. It will not happen. We want to urge the international community, please ignore that old man. Now that you know him, much as he had misled you before, now you know him. He's just a man who has gotten whatever he wants through violence and anarchy. And now that he's exposed, that sorts out the matter. Leave him to us. We'll sort out the other issues with him locally here without your involvement. Nikimarizia, Niseme Akwamba, I want to talk to my elder brother and friend, President Uru Kenyatta. I have sent you a message through your emissary. Please, if you want to talk to us because you don't want to pay taxes, if you want to talk to us so that you can you don't return the money that you put abroad, you don't have to cause violence through Laida Odinga. You can call us for an honest conversation, and then we can discuss whether you pay tax, whether you don't, how many we play as a kubaliana. But it's also good for me to tell you, as you finance violence, violence is unpredictable. Many times, it comes to consume the financiers. Those young people you are sending to root property and pay them, when they are through with rooting property for the small people and there is nothing remaining, you know what they will do. I'd like you to take time, President Uru Kenyatta and Aida Odinga, if you have time. You read the history on the French Revolution of 1789, if you have time. As the revolution was going on, the peasants decided that the bourgeoisie and the aristocracy should be beheaded.